Hey, everybody. This is Wolfen Out, and this is my face. It's a face cam, and only no gameplay to distort. You're stuck with this. Oh, God, I know. I know. I feel you. I live with it every day, people. You only have to look at it for a few minutes, but this is a state of the channel vlog. What is happening with my channel? Dun dun dun, dun state of the channel. It's a big deal, guys. I haven't posted new content on this channel for two weeks. Two, two, two weeks. Where has my content been? What has been happening with Wolf and Out Gaming? Well, I'm going to tell you. I've noticed the trend, though, that since I haven't posted content for two weeks, my views have been higher than they've been in a long time. So the key to getting views on YouTube's guide, the secret, the secret that no one will tell you about, that the big tuber, YouTubers refuse to tell you, is stop posting content and watch your views soar. Okay, but seriously, so what happened was I have... What happened was, guys, two community strikes on my channel. The first was from one of the videos, the Happy Campers video. Someone gave me a community strike, and that made it so that I couldn't live stream for three months. First community strike, you cannot live stream for three months. Taken away. All right, well, I didn't live stream a lot, but I did live stream, and that was a disappointment. And then uh, just a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, I got a second community strike on my 50-50 video challenge video. Now, there was a moment in there that I forgot to edit out. And I knew it was in there because it was called out to me. And so I put like a, a, an uncensored warning on there. And I was getting comments of people like, how is this not age-restricted? But I didn't age-restrict it myself. I didn't make it private. And then once it got over 100,000 views, I guess it got big enough to get noticed. And it got flagged. Second community strike in three months. And what that means is if you get three community strikes, your channel's gone in three-month period. Okay? So that second one made it so that I could have no content on my channel, no new content, uh, for two weeks. So I'm recording this on July 10th. It's a Monday. It has now been two weeks, and I can now post content on the chan on this channel again. Now, when I when that happened, I was kind of depressed. I was a little, I was upset. I was really pissed off. Um, I appealed them both. I got rejected, and I didn't know what to do. So I thought one of my thoughts was immediately after I was sort of upset about it. I thought, you know what I do? I'm just going to make a brand new channel um, for two reasons. One, it'll give me something to do for two weeks. Okay, so if I want to, that way I have a place to put content, I can still do things, and I build a live stream on there. So, and then second, I thought, and uh, maybe it'll just become a, the, new, the new channel. Um, because on this channel, I have over 17,000 subscribers, but when you look at the, the views on my new videos, they don't reflect that subscriber base. And I've thought about it, and what I've, the conclusion I've come to is that this for a long time was a Minecraft channel. I did a lot of po Trove that was popular on this channel. I don't play any of that stuff anymore, but I think people find those videos, they subscribe to my channel for those types of videos, not realizing those videos are years old, and then once they do, and so then they don't watch any new content because they're not interested in any of that new content. They subscribed for the what they saw, which was old, which is stuff I'm not doing, I don't plan on going back to. So then they don't give a crap about any of my new stuff. I think that's what's happening. And so part of me thought the new channel uh, means when, as I get new subscribers, those people will be subscribing for the content that I'm doing now and that I'm interested in now, and I can build a new base with subscribers that reflect proper views. Because I've had to explain myself a lot when new people show up in streams and they're like, why do you have 17,000 but you don't? You only have 40 views? And people probably think I'm buying subscribers or things like that, which I wouldn't do because that doesn't do anything. Subscribers is nothing. It's the views and watch time that matter. Um, and it does. Uh, it bothers me some that I have that amount of subscribers, but the amount of views I have. So then I, so I've been active on that channel. That channel is Mayhem Project. There is a link if you go to my main Wolf and Out Gaming channel on the side where I've got like my buddies Turpack and Winter and Shadow Knight. There is now a link to the Mayhem Project. There'll also be a link in this video. There's already two weeks worth of content over there. There's PUBG, there's Battle Bay, there's a bunch of live streams, a lot of live streams that have happened over there. So you can, I encourage you, please, go check that out. Please subscribe to that channel. So, what does that mean for Wolf and Out Gaming after everything I've just told you about, how I feel about this channel and my feelings about the Mayhem Project? Well, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to try to do both. And uh, here's what I plan. I can't live stream on Wolf and Out Gaming until the end of September. But I've recently, with the Mayhem Project, I've really gotten into doing live streams. Instead of coming home on lunch and recording a video... I've been coming home and live streaming instead, and I've really enjoyed that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to stream on the Mayhem Project, which is why I encourage you to subscribe. If you're interested in seeing me do live content, please, please, please 
Go over there, subscribe. It's almost daily live content. You can get over there and see me live, hanging out either by myself or with Winter or Turpac. Um, and then on this channel, I will post content. It doesn't mean I won't post any videos on that channel, but that one's going to be more heavily focused on original uh, on live streaming because I can't do it here. And now I'm just going to be much more careful about the content so I don't get that third st community strike here. So this channel is still live right now, still going. Content is back. There'll just be no live streams because I cannot live stream. So if you want to, go click on the link in the description of this video or go to my main page, click on the link over. Please subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified of when I go when I go live. You'll know it because it happens almost daily. And you can be a part of my new venture into the mayhem project, into the craziness of the mayhem. And we'll see if we can get that up. It currently, as of recording this video, has 39 subscribers. So I've gotten 39 subscribers in two weeks, which I, I'm pretty impressed with. My next, my main, my goal right now is 50. And then after that will be the big 100. So I'd love if you guys saw this video and the active subscribers on this, on this channel rushed over there and hit that up and get me up to 50 on that channel as well, and that would be great. So, you have two places to watch content from me, your friendly YouTuber, Wolfin' Out. You can watch videos here on Wolfin' Out Gaming, or you can watch most of my live content over on Mayhem Project with some videos sprinkled through it, and we'll see how that goes. If that becomes too much for me, I'll have to make a choice on which channel I go for. So another good reason to go subscribe, because if, that's the, if, that, if it becomes too overwhelming and I choose that one, there'll be a video about it, of course, explaining again what's happening. But you'll already be subscribed. You'll already know. You'll be in the know. You and me. Mano y mano. Knowing what's happening together. Teamwork. Teammates. And other team-related words. That's what's going to happen. So I appreciate, guys, you sticking around, watching my videos, subscribing, and being here a part of Wolfen Out Gaming. And I really hope you're with me on this new venture into Mayhem Project and see if we can get that channel up and going and rolling into live content and uh, who knows what other types of things. It might be a good place for me to vlog as well because I've only done a tiny bit of that here. I'm not sure. Suggestions? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel about this, what you're thinking about this change. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I encourage you to hit both channels and continue watching my content. And, again, comments and tips are appreciated. So thank you guys so much. I am Wolfing Out. I'm grateful to be back putting out content again on the Wolfing Out Gaming channel. Revised, ready to go, revitalized, I should say, ready to go and see what happens uh, in this next push with my uh, channels and my content. So thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.